the most powerful anti-estrogen that you can ever take the titty titty killer letrozole and let me tell you something now honestly i don't think there's any anti-estrogen that comes close to the way letrozole works and it's good and it's bad so let's go into it first of all letrozole is so effective at the way that it deals with estrogen that it will literally just keep chopping your fucking estrogen levels down like a fucking tree. It literally just keep bringing them down. So let me tell you where letrozole is incredibly effective. If you've developed gyno, right, and I'm talking proper gyno, I'm not talking about where you look a little bit nipply. I'm talking about where, where you lift your arm up and you feel your nipple, there's like a marble under it. Now at that stage, you will fucking panic. Do you wanna know why? Because Novidex won't work, Arimidex won't work, Aromacin won't work, so you're left with what seemingly is the only option, surgery. However, I have treated so many clients who have had gyno. I've treated my own gyno that I got, where it completely got, I got rid of the lump with letrozole. Letrozole is incredible for this. Taking one tablet every second to third day for only a duration of two to three weeks, you will literally see your pain in the gyno dissipate you'll literally watch the lump get smaller and smaller by the day. So in terms of treating gyno, before you turn to surgery, if you've used all the typical other anti-estrogens, again like Novadex, again like Aromacin, again like Arimidex, and you have had no success, give Letrozole a go and it could be your saving grace. It really could because I've seen it literally reverse people who have had quite heavy gyno where they've developed proper lumps and it's fucking erased that shit completely. So it's an incredible compound for that. Secondly, letrozole is fantastic. Utilize when? Towards the end of a contest prep. It's a great way to get an ultra dry look. Why? Because when estrogen, estrogen is greatly reduced in the body, the body visually, especially if you're holding low body fat, will have a very hard, dry appearance. So it's very typical for letrozole to be used for the last 10 to 14 days of a contest prep to dry a competitor out to their maximum, especially if you're a competitor who is naturally very highly sensitive to estrogen, naturally retains a lot of water. Letrozole is almost like a miracle worker. Why I don't like letrozole is because a lot of bodybuilders don't actually realize how harsh a compound it is. And I feel quite sorry for them because a lot of guys will use letrozole to manage estrogen on a cycle, right? Because it's a very powerful anti-estrogen. Why not take it? The problem is letrozole don't know when to fucking stop. That's the problem. Letrozole will not keep estrogen at bay, like say an Arimidex or an Aromacin or a Novidex. Letrozole will just keep bringing your estrogen down. Mm. And what you've got to understand is low estrogen for, that's been kept that way for a duration is just as bad as having high estrogen for duration. And what's bad is that when you're taking letrozole and it's just chopping away your estrogen levels like that, it will start to impact your cholesterol which can then lead on to impacting your arterial health. So I do not recommend ever utilizing letrozole, right, as your regular sort of anti-estrogenic compound because you're asking for trouble. Typically, you only want to use letrozole if, first of all, you've got your blood work back and it's like, fuck me, my estrogen's through the roof and I need to get it down quickly. Use a letrozole to get it down quick. Then use aromacin or Novadex or, I don't even like aromadex that much, but aromacin or Novadex to keep it there. So once you brought your estrogen level down via letrozole, fucking cap it off. And my ultimate anti-estrogen to cap it off, which is the most heart friendly, is aromacin, right? That is the best way to utilize it, but you do not want to be running it like as a standard anti-estrogen on your cycle because again, it will just keep bringing that estrogen level down and it's going to cause a lot of issues. The only time you want to employ letrozole is again when you're dealing with gyno and you need, you need to try and utilize something to fix that before surgery. At the end of a contest prep or if you're actually suffering from severely high estrogen levels where you need to bring them down within range fucking quickly. Outside of that, don't use it as a common staple. It certainly has its uses. It absolutely is the most powerful anti that you can get your hands on, but know how to use it and use it smartly. 
and you'll have a tool there that is just a great asset in your cycle.